Good. Okay. So I'm going to get us started uh, with some marching in place. I'm going to shut this door so Bruce doesn't try to come in here. And we're just going to march in place here. There we go. And just get our arms and legs nice and sync there. Get those knees up high. There we go. Very good. I'm looking forward to the weekend here. I got done with stats. Stats is over. Turned in the last assignment last night. The nightmare is done. I can relax this weekend. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Awesome. All righty. Now, I want to go to one that, that we've done a million times here. It's going to be our arm swings. All right. So just working on loosening up the shoulder muscles as well as the chest muscles here. All right. We'll go for 30 seconds. There we go. And remember to pinch those shoulders back behind you. When you go to open that chest up, that way we can get the back and the chest loosened up here. There we go. Good way to just get the blood flow going. Let me check my time here. You all keep going. Three, two, one. Relax. Very good. All right, I'm going to let my arms kind of dangle for a little bit here. And now I want to go into our standing torso twist. All right, so we can put our hands on our hips. We can have them out to the side, whatever we want to do. But I'm just going to twist my body here, going to either side. We'll go for 30 seconds. There we go. Remember, if you feel yourself getting dizzy, you can always focus on that stationary point out in front of you. There we go. Sometimes in this 9 a.m. class, I can kind of get my back to crack a little bit. Maybe, maybe not today. There we go. Let's make sure we continue to breathe here as well. Three, two, one, relax. Very good. All right, so this next one here is, is a fun one that I like. I call it the disco stretch. We've done it once before this summer. All right, but essentially, I just wanna show you my, my lower body here. I'll change my angle. I'm gonna get into a nice, stance here almost like i'm going to be doing my side steps and monster walks that we did on monday all right but what i'm going to do here is i'm going to reach my right hand to my left knee all right and we're going to do the disco all right so i'm going to re go up diagonally reach for the ceiling and come back down all right i'll show you my top half here again just going to go diagonally doing that disco stretch here here we go, get that torso loosened up, get the chest, get the shoulder, all right? And as we get looser and looser, I'll start the time right now. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. As you get looser and looser, try reaching for a lower and lower point on your leg. All right, so I'm working my fingertips toward my, the middle of my shin now. Just trying to get looser and looser, lower and lower. There we go. Doing that disco. I still don't have a disco ball for this stretch. Three, two, one. Relax. Very good. All right. Now, let's be balanced in terms of direction. We'll get the other side here as well. All right. So now my left hand is going to go to my right knee. We're going to do the same thing here in three, two, and one. Go ahead. There we go. Reaching for that ceiling here. Try to get lower and lower as you go. We got a lot of things I want to get to today, so I'm going to be going a little bit quicker. Hopefully not too fast. There we go. Three, two, one. Relax. Very nice. All righty. Now, I want to get us to where uh, we have our, our chair here, all right? So I've got my, my handy-dandy chair. We can also be at a wall or a heavy piece of furniture. But what I want to do here is a sort of a butt kick, all right? A butt kick. So 
I'm gonna show you how, how I do my butt kicks here. All right, this is all about range of motion and comfortability here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm essentially just gonna be standing with my chair or you can have a wall or whatever you have there for support. And I'm just going to reach my heel up to my rear end here, okay? Now I want you to go to a range of motion that's comfortable for you. All right, so I want you to get that leg up there as high as you're comfortable. All right, no matter what range of motion we pick here, we're gonna get those hamstrings to work. All right, so I'm gonna set my timer for 30 seconds, and we'll go ahead, I'll actually leave my camera at that angle. I like to get our butt kicks in here in three, two, and one. There we go. You might, be, you might notice yourself kind of leaning to the side a little bit. Uh, toward the, the leg that's still on the ground each time, that's perfectly fine. All right, just get that heel up there as high as you're comfortable. There we go. So we're getting the hamstring muscles to fire, and we're also stretching that quadricep muscle a little bit as well, getting that loosened up for the day. Three, two, one, relax, very good. All right, now this next one here is gonna be from a chair. So if we use the chair for balance, we've, we've got it here for ourselves already. Um, and I wanna go to our seated leg circles. All right, so we've, again, we've done this one time before this summer. This is only the second time that we've done this workout this summer. Um, but if, if we remember from last time, I'm gonna be sitting up nice and tall in my chair and I'm gonna have my, my legs kind of bent like this, like I'm sitting, but then I'm gonna extend one leg out, okay? One leg's gonna come out and I'm just gonna draw circles in the air with my foot, all right? Just drawing circles in the air, all right? I'll get us started. We're gonna get 30 seconds, so let's relax for a second. We're gonna get 30 seconds in each direction for each leg, all right? Being balanced in terms of muscle groups, and uh, balance in terms of direction here, okay? So we're gonna get started with whichever leg you want, whichever direction you want here, in three, two, and one. Ready? There we go. So I start with my right leg here, just drawing circles in the air with the feet. There we go. And remember, this can be at your own pace. That's why I have these go for time, and rather than a number of reps, you can go at whatever speed you are comfortable with. There we go. Pay attention to which direction you're going here. Three, two, one, relax. Now, I'm gonna let that leg rest. I'm gonna go to the other leg here and do the same thing, all right? Going in the same direction, okay? So let this leg rest while the other one works. Let's go 30 more seconds here in three, two, and one, ready? There we go. So I got my left leg going here now. Very good. Remember, try to sit up nice and tall if you can. It's gonna be a little more difficult for those postural muscles to keep your torso straight with that leg out. But I want you to give me your best effort. Three, two, one. Relax, good. All right, now let's go back to the other leg here. Go back to the other leg and we're gonna go in the other direction. All right, we're gonna go in the other direction here. Okay, so we're gonna get started in three, two, and one. There we go. So I'm going counterclockwise now with my right leg. I was going clockwise before. 30 seconds here on this one. There we go. Not only are we getting the quadriceps loosened up here, we're getting the hip flexors ready to go here too. Three, two, one, relax. All right, now let's go ahead and get the other leg here. This is our last round of leg circles before we start our workout here. All right, we're gonna get started with the other leg here in three, two, and one. 
There we go. Going counterclockwise in the left leg now. There we go. Ten seconds left, and then we'll move into our first superset here. Three, two, one, relax. Good. All righty. So, this first superset here, all right, is going to have two exercises. Uh, the first exercise that we're going to have is going to be an overhead press. Now, if you remember from previous classes, whenever I have overhead press, I always have lateral raise as an alternative for those of us who want to avoid any sort of overhead movement against a resistance, all right? And there's a number of us that do want to avoid that, so I want to always have that, alter that alternate exercise. So I'm going to go without weight. You can go without weight too, but if you want to use your weights, feel free. We're just going to go straight up and back down with that overhead press, all right? And the, alter the alternate exercise, if you want to go lateral raise, all right? Going to be making the T with our body, all right? The letter T and then coming right back down, all right? Now, whichever one you pick, we're gonna get 10 reps together when we get to that exercise. Now, the second exercise that I want to pair with this is gonna be the glute extension that we've done in the past. So this is why we did those butt kicks before. We're not quite gonna be doing the same movement, but we're gonna be using the same muscle group. Uh, so essentially, we can be at a wall, at a chair. I'm gonna take one leg at a time and just kick back, kick back behind me, all right? We're getting that hamstring involved, but we're also getting that glute to fire, especially when we try our, our, our absolute hardest to get that heel up there as high as we can. We're especially gonna get that glute firing, all right? So that'll be 10 reps on each leg, all right? So 10 for the upper body, and then 10 and 10 for the lower body today, all right? And then one last thing about that over the uh, upper body exercise is that that can be done seated or standing. All right, whichever you would like. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out 10 reps of the overhead press or lateral raise here together. I still have my weights kind of situated somewhere else, so I'm gonna go without weight here. Um, but we'll get started with 10 reps here in three, two, and one. Ready? Coming up. And back down, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good. All right, now we can set our weights down if we had them. I'm going to get my chair situated or find my wall, whatever I have there in my house with me. And we're gonna knock out 10 glute extensions on each leg here. All right, and we're gonna get started in three, two, and one. Ready? Kicking out and coming back in, that's one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Now let's go ahead and switch the other leg here. I'm going to switch sides so you can see my working leg in the camera. Hopefully, all right, if my camera angle is good. Let's knock out 10 more reps here in three, two, and one. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, awesome. All right, so that's one set down. 
for each of our first two exercises, let's go back to our overhead press or lateral raise choice, okay? Now for this second set of 10, I'm gonna go ahead and do the lateral raise, all right? Remember, you can pick whichever one you want for each of these sets, whichever one you're most comfortable with. So with my, my weights here or my phone, okay? I'm gonna knock out 10 reps, all right? We're gonna get started here in three, two, and one. Ready? Coming up and back down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. There we go. All right, we're gonna go back to our glute extension here now. I'm gonna change my angle. And again, while I'm counting, I'm always thinking about new cues to give, new instructions to give. So hopefully I'm not skipping any numbers there. Think doing two things at once. I fear I miscount sometimes. Let's knock out 10 reps on this first leg here in three, two, and one. Ready? Coming out and back in. That's one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, let's switch legs. Once again, I'm switching sides here so you can see my working leg. Let's knock out 10 more reps here in three, two, and one. Ready, kicking out. And back in, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. All righty, so. That's two sets down. Let's get our third and final set of the overhead press or lateral raise choice. All right. I'm going to go back to the overhead press here. All right. I just like to do at least one of each so that you can see that I, I truly want you to pick either one, that either one is going to be fine uh, for us. Okay. So we're going to knock out 10 reps of our upper body choice here in three, two, and one. Ready? Coming up and back down, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good. Okay, so let's, uh, we're done with that one. Let's knock out this last set of our glute extension. All right, and then we'll be off to the second superset here. All right, here we go, 10 reps on whichever leg you wanna start with here in three, two, and one. Ready, kicking out and back in. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, let's switch one last time here. There we go, we're gonna get 10 more reps in three, two, and one, right? Kicking out and back in, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Very good. All righty. Now let's take a second here, get some water if we want it. All right. I'm going to count you all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good number. There we go. Nine for the 9 a.m. That's easy to remember. Now I'm going to go back to my plan here. I went out of order for a reason because I like this order better. So now I want to go to a super set that's going to involve our resistance band for the upper body and a chair for the lower body. All right. So I will show you the upper body workout that we're going to do here for our superset. It's going to be one that we've done before, just once before. Uh, it's going to be our uh, chest fly. All right, our chest fly. So if we remember here, we're going to set up a staggered stance anchor. All right, one that we've set up a thousand times. I'm going to demonstrate here for us still, though, how to, how to set this one up. So hopefully you can see what my feet are doing here. All right, I'm gonna get into a staggered stance. It truly doesn't matter which foot we have forward. All right, but I'm gonna have one foot forward and one foot back here, okay? So to set up my staggered stance anchor, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to place the middle part of the resistance band beneath my front foot. All right, beneath my front foot here, okay? So essentially my, my front foot becomes my anchor, okay? And then I have each end of the band in my hands up here, okay? So now what I'm gonna do with my chest fly is with this anchor set up, I am going to extend my arms out like we're doing our arm swing it's going to be a little bit of a different angle all right we're not going to be completely horizontal at the floor as we are with our arm swings in the warm-up but i still want to get a good opening of the chest pinch the shoulders back and then come right back to the start okay so i would like to knock out 10 reps of this chest fly when we get to it all right when we get to it so That'll be the, the upper body set. Now the lower body set will be one that we've done uh, several times. I believe we've done it with Kelsey a few times as well. Um, it's gonna be our low, we're gonna have a lower body choice here, similar to what we had with the overhead press versus lateral raise. So our first option here is, uh, pardon my squeaky chair again. Our first option here is gonna be a double leg extension. All right, just kicking both the legs out together. This is my way of mimicking the uh, leg extension in the clinic, the machine. All right, uh, we'll get 10 reps of that, or uh, we can go with our sit to stand, okay? So I'm just crossing the hands over the chest, uh, pressing the feet into the ground, and coming up to a nice standing position, and then being extra careful of where that chair is when we come down. Okay, be extra careful of where that chair is when you come down, all right? So we will get 10 reps of that exercise in as well. So it'll be 10 and 10, nice, easy for me to remember. All right, so let's start off with our upper body set here, or our, our upper body exercise, sorry. And I'm gonna show us again one more time, the staggered stance anchor. So one foot forward, one foot back, Resistance band underneath the front foot here. All right, let me get this chair out of my way. Resistance band beneath the front foot. And then I'm going to be in a position to where I can manipulate the band effectively. All right, we're gonna get 10 reps on this chest fly together in three, two, and one. Ready? Coming out and back in, that's one. Two, three, four, five, really pinch those shoulders back, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. All right, so just one quick thing about that. I hope that we're not coming straight up. So if I'll, I'll do it from this angle here. I hope that we're not coming straight up because then that just turns into a lateral raise, all right, which we already did once. If you chose that one, I want it to be a little more of a backward, all right? So obviously the, with an arm or a chest fly, you want to have your anchor at eye level. But I don't think many of us have a, a safe place to anchor a band that's that high. So I'm going to go with, with that option there. Um, so let's knock out 10 reps of our lower body choice. I'm going to go with the double leg seated extension here to start. All right. So let's get 10 reps of our, our choice here in three, two, and one. Ready? Kicking out and back in. That's one. Remember, you can be doing sit to stand here too if you want. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. Okay. So let's move back to our uh, chest fly here. I'll show the staggered stance set up again here. All right, one leg forward, one leg back. Middle of the band beneath the front foot. There we go. Hopefully we're doing okay. All right, let's get our 10 reps of our second set here in three, Two and one. Ready? Pulling them back behind us. Pinch the shoulders and back in. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. There we go. All righty. I really feel that in my chest muscles when I come back in. And if we focus on when we bring the handles back in and we fight the band back, we're going to feel those chest muscles work as well. All right. So don't let the band just pull you back in. All right. Fight that resistance here. Now I'm going to. Uh, this time for my lower body choice, I'm going to do the sit to stand, all right? Again, you can do whichever one you would like, all right? I'm going to be extra careful about where the edge of my chair is here so I don't fall in front of all of you, all right? And we're going to get 10 reps together in three, two, and one. Ready? Coming up and back down. That's one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very good. All right, ten reps. There we go. Mike, you're the one that's big on my screen here. I saw your head go down fast. I was like really scared you slipped off your chair there for a second. All right, but I see you're okay, so that's good. Yeah. All right, let's knock out this last set of our chest fly. All right, one more time, setting up that staggered stance anchor. There we go. And we'll get 10 reps here in three, two, and one, ready? Pinch those shoulders back there and back in. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. We can put the band down. We will need it again for the last super set, but I'm just going to set it down here to finish up the last set of our lower body choice. All right. Now I'm gonna go back to the double leg extension here. Again, you pick and choose whichever one you would like to do. All right, we're doing 10 reps either way. All right, we'll get started with this last set here in three, two, and one. Ready, coming up and back down. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Very good. All right, let's take a second here, take a breath. I'm extra sensitive to any itch I feel on my skin. We found a, a tick in our apartment this morning. I think it came in on inside on, on, a, on Bruce's fur. Hey, Lynn, how you doing so far? I'm all right, I haven't done this for a while. I see some familiar faces back there. Yeah, yeah, we got a lot of people from, okay. the, from the 9 a.m. here. There we go, actually. I'm ready. Yeah, I'd say most of us are from the 9 a.m. class here. Are you, uh, are you doing okay following along with our, our super sets the way that we do them, Lynn? Yes. Perfect. Good. All right. I just kind of threw you in and kind of hoped you would uh, learn from doing there. If you're doing well, that's great. I'm okay. Yep. Perfect. Now, uh, our last super set, we're going to have both exercises going to be using the band here. All right. So I'm gonna move this chair off to the side so I no longer need it. And I wanna to go to, to one that's, I'll show you the upper body set here. Um, this is turning into one of my favorite upper body exercises. It's the front clap, all right, the front clap. So it's just the reverse of the chest fly that we did. So I'm gonna get into my staggered stance again, all right, my staggered stance. But this time I'm gonna have the band underneath my back foot, all right, underneath my back foot this time. Okay, this is one of my favorite. I've been doing this just on my own just for fun the last couple of weeks. I actually really <laughs> like this one. So staggered stance, band beneath the back foot. And what I'm gonna do now is I'll change my angle first. All right, and then I'll just show you from the front here. I'm going to get my arms out nice and wide and I'm going to clap in front. <laughs> All right, so I'm not letting the band, the band handles come below my hips here. All right, I'm going to clap and come back. All right, clap and come back. All right, so uh, we can do that with weight as well. I can see Lynn there's got her weight there. I think that's a fantastic idea. All right, especially if we don't have the kind of band that has the handles, it might be a little difficult in that way. All right, now, and we can use weight for this next exercise as well. All right, so we got the front clap in, we're gonna do 10 reps. The next exercise I wanna to go to is gonna be our cross body punches. All right, we did those with this exercise before as well. I will show you how to set up this one with the band if we don't remember. I'm essentially just gonna step on both ends, or uh, both feet, sorry, are gonna be on the middle of the band here, and I have each handle in my hand, all right, in my hands here. Now the wider your stance, the more difficult this is gonna be, all right? So you're gonna wanna figure that out. If you have the band, if you have the weight, your stance isn't gonna matter that much. Uh, but the wider your stance on the band, the more difficult it's gonna be here. What we're gonna do is for time, not number of reps, we're going to go to some cross body punches, continuous punches here. All right, and maybe you'll be able to see my body is kind of bobbing up and down. I'm kind of bending my knees a little bit. All right, and just kind of getting a good head bob 
All right, now I see a lot of us are going along right with me, so let's just go ahead and knock out this first set of crossbody punches here. All right, let's just go right into it. We're gonna go for 45 seconds starting right now. There we go. Crossbody punches with the band or the weight. We can go without weight if we want to. All right, there we go. And get that head bob in there as well. Get that lower body activated in there too. I think Olivia would be proud of us getting that good boxing form. There we go. Very good. This is gonna be our cardio type core workout. Just full body. This is such a versatile exercise right here. There we go. I'm gonna have to turn on my ceiling fan. Yeah. Now you all keep going. I'm gonna check my timer here, okay? Oh, three, two, one, relax, very good, all righty. So, I'm gonna turn on my, my fan here real quick, just a quick second. Put it on medium, there we go, all righty. So, now we just knocked out our first set of our crossbody punch. Let's go to our front clap here, okay? So, staggered stance, if we have the band, one leg forward, one leg back, we've got the back end of the band here, or the back foot is gonna be anchoring on the band, and we're gonna get our front claps in here, 10 reps together. All right, we're gonna knock this out here in three, two, and one. Ready, clap, and back in, that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I think I did an extra one in there actually, my fault. We did 11 there, that's okay. All righty, so now I'm gonna set up my band again for the crossbody punches, all right? And let me grab my timer here so I, we stay on time. Oops. We're gonna go for 45 seconds here in three, two, and one. Ready? There we go. Cross body punches. I like that uh, I see everybody's belly button is following the handout. All right, if you wanna make this even more versatile, you get that twist in there. Make that belly button follow the hand. Here we go. Make sure you keep your breathing here, going at our own pace. Make sure you're going at your own comfortable pace. There we go, get those good bobs in there too, those head bobs. Get that lower body activating there as well. Now, you all keep going. I'm gonna check my timer. Three, two, one, relax. All right, you went a little over 45 seconds there, but that's totally fine. We've got plenty of time here. We're doing well on time. Now, let's go to our second set of the front clap here. All right, I believe. We went out of order. I meant to do the front clap first, and I'm a little messed up on what set we're on, but I'm pretty sure this is our second set of our front clap, all right? So we're gonna get 10 reps together in three, two, and one. Ready? Clap in front and back in. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. All right. There we go. I didn't make us do 11 that time by accident. Okay. Let's knock out our last set of our crossbody punch here. Okay. 45 more seconds. And then we should have time for our cool down and our progressive muscle relaxation, because it's Friday. 
All right, because it's Friday. I want to get both of those in. So 45 more seconds on our crossbody punch here in three, two, and one. Ready? There we go. Almost dropped my stopwatch there. There we go. And I'll make sure to actually stop us at 45 seconds this time. Hopefully we enjoy this exercise so that minute doesn't feel like an actual minute. That's how long it went the last set because I didn't look up the timer. Oops. There we go. I love seeing those head bobs. I can see those head bobs up and down. I can't tell who you are, remember, because I don't have my glasses on. But I can see those head bobs. That means we're, we're activating our lower body here as well. Three, two, one, relax. Good. Good. All right. That's our last set on the front clap or on the uh, crossbody punch. Let's knock out our last set of the front clap. All right. So staggered stance. All right. With the back leg being the anchor. And we're going to get 10 more reps here in three, two, and one. Ready? Clapping in front. And back in, or out, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, shoot, I think I may have to do 11 again. Oh, well. Shoot, because the way we have the, the, the auditory cue is that clap. And when I, I always like to have us say the number at the end of the rep because the total rep is the concentric and the eccentric. So that's why I count at the end. All right, and when I have the auditory cue like the clap, it makes me revert back to thinking we have to get the clap in first. All right, that's why I do 11 sometimes on that one. But oh well, one extra rep is not going not gonna to hurt us. Uh, let's get a second here, get a breath, all right, get, some, get a sip of water if you need it, all right. And then I want to move to our cool down here. Remember, it's Friday, so we have extra time for our cool down and our relaxation, okay. And the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to move some of Eleanor's sewing stuff over. So I can turn this angle toward the wall. We're going to go visit Kramer again. All right. And we'll just be doing, we'll be doing two upper body sets here. Okay. So uh, for our first stretch, we're going to be working on the chest because we worked on the chest extensively today. Okay. Extensive work on the chest. So I want to do the, our, our wall chest press where I'm going to place my hand on the wall. All right. The wall is going to be right here next to my body. And I'm going to then turn away from the wall here, okay? So I've got my hand kind of on my closet door area here. And I'm going to turn away, excuse me, from the wall, all right? Go ahead and hold that stretch. I've got the timer going. Remember to breathe here in through the nose and out through the mouth. Uh, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Very good. Let's go ahead and switch sides here. So now I'm going to turn my body so the other side is now facing the wall. And I'm going to place my hand on the wall and turn away from the wall here. Go ahead and start. 30 seconds. I'm gonna enjoy having an entire wall to do this when we end up back in the clinic. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, relax. Very nice. All right, go ahead and relax. I wanna stay 
at the wall here. I want to show us, uh, I want to do a lateral stretch here. Okay, a lateral stretch. So uh, um, I'm going to turn my body again so that the right side of my body is uh, facing the wall here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. All right. So the right side of my body is facing the wall here. Now I'm actually going to bring my left arm up and over my head and I'm gonna reach for the wall right above my head. So I want you to imagine that you have a clock. You are, your shoulder is the center of the clock where the two hands are anchored down. I want you to reach for the 12 o'clock position of right above your head. All right, go ahead and do that here for 30 seconds. A lot of people, when they have bad posture, are gonna reach more for either the 11 or the one, depending on which way they're facing. All right, and that's not gonna get the muscle that I wanna target here. So I want us to make sure we're up nice and tall in our good posture, reaching for that 12 o'clock position. All right, and if you even, if you wanna see what I'm doing here, I wish my shirt was a little longer, but I am pressing my hips out a little bit as well, getting that stretch to go up my side here. All right, pressing my hips away from the wall is gonna increase the stretch. Three, Two, one, relax. Let's go ahead and switch sides. So now I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna have my back to you here, but I'm going to, once again, just put my hand up above my head on that 12 o'clock position. And I'm even going to push my hips away from the wall a little bit to, at a range of motion that I'm comfortable with. Got the timer going. I'm just gonna hold that stretch. Remember to breathe. Now you all keep stretching. I'm going to check my list here. We're doing good. 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds on that lat stretch. Three, two, one, relax. All righty, go ahead and relax. Now let's come away from the wall here. We can come away from that wall. And I'm gonna go to uh, our weekly installment of the back scratch test. All right, we didn't do it on Monday, so that means we gotta do it today. So I'm gonna bring one arm up and over. I'm gonna bring the other arm down and around. We're gonna go for 30 seconds here, go ahead. 30 seconds, make sure we're up nice and tall. So Lynn, we've been doing the back scratch test at least once a week in, in my sessions. I want us to have really good shoulder, shoulder back scratch test scores when we come back to the clinic eventually. This is like eating our broccoli. Three, two, one, relax. Very good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Now my other arm that was down is now gonna come up and over. Other one's gonna go down and around. We got 30 more seconds here. Go ahead. Remember, I like to kind of just walk around while I'm stretching a little bit. It kind of distracts me from what I'm doing. Let me check my time. Three, two, one. Relax. Go ahead and relax. Very nice. I'm gonna check my time. Oh, we're doing fantastic on time. I'm always so happy when I can get everything in at 9 a.m. But 9 a.m. is where I tend to be the slowest. All right, this next stretch, we're gonna utilize the chair. All right, and I'm going to Turn so you can see what I'm doing here from the side. I think that this side angle is really helpful. All right, and I wanna to go to our hamstring stretch. So if you remember from last time, we did our hamstring stretch and we did one, we did two stretches on each leg. We did one with the leg bent and one with the leg a little more straight. All right, remember the straight leg is more mimicking our sit and reach test, okay? I wanna stretch with the leg bent first. Okay, so I'm gonna reach for my toe here with that leg bent. 
All right, we're gonna go for 30 seconds here in three, two, and one. Remember, keep your posture, keep your breathing here. Because our leg is bent, we're getting a, a different part of the hamstring than we would with it straight. And it's especially good that we're getting that part of the hamstring now because we worked the upper hamstring and the glute with that uh, glute extension earlier on in the workout. We'll do this one for 40 seconds here. Three, two, one, relax. All right, I'm gonna switch sides again so you can see my working leg. There we go. Again, we'll go for 40 more seconds on the other leg here, just keeping it bent while we reach for those toes. Go ahead. It's funny, every time we do this stretch, I'm looking at the floor and I, I, I always see what looks like scratch in the hardwood. Right here, I hope that's not a scratch. I don't think it is. That would be bad. I don't want to scratch this nice floor. Still got 10 more seconds here. We're doing great. We're definitely going to be able to get our PMR in today. Three, two, one, relax. Very nice. I'm gonna switch sides again here. You all just have to switch legs. Don't have to move like me. And now I wanna to go to our actual sit and reach here. Okay, so now we've got the legs gonna be more straight this time. All right, let me reach for our toe here. Okay, we're gonna get 40 more seconds on this one. In three, two, and one. Try to keep that posture nice and straight, that back nice and straight. I even feel a little bit of stretch in my calf here. I'm kind of pulling my toes back a little bit. Keep up with that breathing as well. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, relax, very nice. All righty, I'm gonna go ahead and switch sides one more time. This is our last stretch before we get into our uh, progressive muscle relaxation. All right, we'll reach for that, let me change the angle. There we go, we'll reach for that leg here. Go ahead, 40 more seconds. Try to keep that leg nice and straight. Now, if we want to, for the progressive muscle relaxation, remember we can do that standing, we can do it sitting, we can do it lying down. I'm going to do it lying down today, so if you have your mat handy, that would be awesome. Ten seconds left, or a chair. Three, two, one, relax. Good. All right, let me untangle my stopwatch here. There we go. I'm going to get us situated here. So uh, I like to start this off with a whole body stretch. So again, lying down, seated, standing, whatever you want. I like to stretch all four of those limbs out here. We got about six minutes of time, so we'll be good. Get to whatever position you'd like to. I'm gonna start us off in our whole body stretch here. I'll give us five seconds here. All righty, give us five seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. There we go, I don't see anybody's heads anymore. Perfect. Ooh. We'll just stretch out here for about 30 seconds. Just stretch all those limbs out whether you're seated or standing or lying down. Good. 
I need to be careful or I'm going to fall asleep. Three, two, one, relax. All right, now let's move into our flexing and relaxing here. So if we remember our uh, first uh, set here is going to be squeezing the muscles of the head, face, and neck. So it's going to be like we're, we're just we're squinting and clenching our face really hard like we just took a bite out of a lemon. All right, we're going to go for 10 seconds here in three, two, and one. Go ahead. Squeeze that face. Clench those teeth. Squint those eyes. Three. Two, one, relax. Remember to breathe here as well. Very good. All right, now the uh, next muscle group that I want to move to is going to be the muscles of the upper extremity. All right, so we're going to clench those fists, flex those biceps and triceps here. All right. Oh, my face is cut off. There we go. We're going to get started here in three, two, and one. Go ahead. Flex those arms. Clench those fists. Get those shoulders flexing as well. There we go. Really flex those muscles here. Three, two, one, relax. Just get some nice breaths in there. Now let's move on to the muscles of the torso, so the, the abdomen, all right? And I want us to uh, clench those muscles here in three, Two and one. Go ahead. Remember to breathe here as well. Three, two, one. Relax. Very nice. Got three sets left here, three sets left. And I wanna focus on the muscles of the upper leg. So we're gonna work on the uh, glute muscles, the hamstring muscles, and the quadriceps muscle group here. All right, we'll go ahead and flex for 10 seconds in three, two, and one. Go ahead. This is a tough muscle group or area of the body to isolate from the others. Three, two, one, relax. Very good, get some breaths in here. Two sets left, I wanna to get to the lower leg here. So let's pull those toes up to the nose. All right, and flex those lower leg muscles here, the calf, the fronts of the lower leg, in three, two, and one. Go ahead. Keep breathing, pull those toes up to the nose. Three, two, one, relax. Good, get some extra breaths in here. Good, let's get our final set here. I wanna knock out the uh, muscles of the entire body, all right? So we're clenching the face and squinting the eyes, clenching the fist, squeezing the abdomen, all right? The upper legs and pulling those toes up to the nose here. We're gonna do this set for 15 seconds, all right? 15 seconds here in three, two, and one. Keep breathing, get every muscle you can think of.
three, two, one, relax. Now just take about 30 seconds here to just let yourself sink into the mat here. Let yourself melt into the mat or the floor or the chair, whatever you are resting comfortably on. Just work on that breathing. Every time we exhale, just pushing those worries away here. Three, two, one, relax. And that's all that I have for you for today. Uh, thank you all so much for participating. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great weekend.